Happy New Year to all of you. Before I begin today's topic, that is best way to learn cyber security in 2024, kindly accept heartfelt thanks for liking, subscribing and watching the channel. This is the first video of year 2024. I am glad that published videos are helpful to you in your cyber security journey. Do keep sharing the videos with others as well. Now let's start. Have you ever pondered the opt optimal approach to delve into the world of cyber security? And how can you cultivate the essential cyber security skills which are required or which are must now? This is a common inquiry of students aspiring to venture into the captivating domain of cyber security. Wherever I have been, whether it's a university, college students, engineering students or IT professionals or even management students. This is the common question. So today I delineate a systematic and practical plan comprising some strategic steps. Initially, you should emphasize the significance of building a strong foundation in IT and computer networking. Subsequently, you should acquire general cybersecurity knowledge and then choose a specific subject within this expensive field of cybersecurity. Until unless you don't have general cybersecurity knowledge, then it will be difficult for you to choose a specific topic and excel into that. And it may create hindrance while you are proceeding or while you are you know, gaining experience and looking for promotions in jobs. So if you are eager to commence your journey, we can embark on step one. Step one is establish fundamental knowledge in computer networking, IT and operating systems. I know you will be having questions in mind. I will address those as well. Some people must be having, why should I go into computer networking when I am not interested into it? I will not go into the networking security. So why should I learn? But before digging deep into cyber security, it is imperative to lay the groundwork with foundational knowledge about information technology, computer networking, and some general cybersecurity skills. This includes acquiring into operating systems as well, uh, meaning you should know how to install, how to configure the operating systems, what are the basic IT principles, and what are the fundamental uh, computer networking concepts. This is must. Now we come to your question which you may have in your mind that why is it crucial to learn these skills before venturing into cyber security? Why should I go into it? Would not it be more efficient to dive straight into the field of cyber security? Why it is you know necessary for me? Right? So let's come to the answer. Answer is yes, it may seem tempting to skip foundational knowledge and jump directly into cybersecurity. But trust me, if you do so, then it may result in uh, you know so many uh, frustrations or problems, or you may face multiple challenges in the coming years. Understanding cybersecurity concepts and comprehending the interactions between different elements. Different element means because we are working with the uh, multiple digital devices, computer networking infrastructure, organizations have a bigger infrastructure. So we should know how you know we, uh, these devices are interacting in between 
then only you can discern how hackers exploit vulnerabilities. If you don't do so, then it will be a challenging task for you if you don't have a solid foundation in IT and networking. What I have seen is that initiating a cybersecurity training prematurely often results in frustration and wasted efforts. Why? Because it necessitates connecting desperate pieces that rely on core networking and IT fundamentals. It is quite obvious you are working with router, you are working with desktop computer, laptop, Mac, Kali Linux or say Windows operating system, routers, multiple devices are there. Then you have to, you know, you should know how these are communicating and what are, how these are being connected with each other. So learning foundational skills involves acquiring knowledge in these areas such as computer hardware fundamentals, computer software fundamentals. When we say computer hardware fundamentals, then it requires understanding of certain components such as motherboards, CPUs, memory, storage devices. This is the basic. Then comes operating system basics. You should know how you can install and configure Windows operating system, Linux operating system, even variations of Linux. Multiple variations are available in the market now. Then you should have some understanding of Mac operating system as well because Mac is also something which is being used commonly now. Then comes system administration skills. You should know how to create users, how to manage users, how to assign permissions to them, how can you assign appropriate rights, what are the file systems, how can you, uh, you know, have uh, or let's say assign appropriate rights to those, what are the applications, who can access those applications, etc. Then comes IT support skills, meaning if there is a small technical glitch into the, any of the device, then you should know how to troubleshoot those issues. You should know how to manage data backups and recovery. While, you know, in the learning process itself, you have to install multiple times a number of operating systems. Your machine may crash. You need to create data backup. You need to do the recovery process. Then comes monitoring the health of IT infrastructure because you, when you will be working with a company, with an organization, then you should know the devices which are being used, the hardware or software which is being used, what is the status of its health. If it is not uh, you know, functioning up to the mark, then whether we should continue with it or discard it or upgrade it, whatever. Then comes computer networking principles. Grasping concepts such as IP addresses, subnets, routing and network layers. This is the uh, basics. Then comes familiarity with key networking devices such as routers, switches, firewalls, how to install firewall, how to configure firewalls and what are the common protocols such as TCP IP, HTTP, HTTPS and UDP etc. Next come is the basic computer security. I am not talking about the cyber security, I am talking about the basic computer security skills. Meaning, comprehending security concepts such as what is authentication, what is encryption, how does these function, what are these roles. Because nowadays authentication and encryption is being used everywhere irrespective of hardware and software. So implementing security controls like access controls, logging and backups, whosoever has uh, you know done whatever activity, whatever user is doing, you, you should know how can you log those activities for further investigation purposes if need arise. So the most effective way to acquire these skills and obtain certification simultaneously is simply by pursuing industry certifications in these areas. Why? Because it will equip you with the knowledge required for foundational skills and also it will provide certifications that you can showcase in your CV resume 
and uh, to your potential employer also you can show them the skills you have required your plus points about uh, your uh, cyber security or say security skills you may if you talk about what kind of certification you may follow so for the beginning purpose you may go for comptia plus this is for it skills comptia network plus or say ccna this is quite good enough for acquiring computer networking knowledge so these are the basic certifications which you, which you must have before you go into cyber security acquire comprehensive knowledge in cyber security what you need is you have to establish a foundation in it and networking as i explained you then comes the general cyber security knowledge when we say general cyber security knowledge then what does it mean or how it can help us this uh, understanding of general cyber security is pivotal in grasping key concepts 